Hello, this lesson is about uh, the man from Snowy River um, in your movie favourites book. And while I'm talking about that, can you please get that book? Make sure it's handy in front of you. Um, and can, yeah, you'll also need a pencil. Hopefully you've found this Google Doc, um, um, which is in front of you on your screen. Um, and before we get to the sort of how to play the, the, the tune, um, how to play the um, song, um, there's just a little bit of info that I wanted to share with you. And I'm assuming most people wouldn't have watched this movie. Um, I'm one of those people. Um, but it's based on a poem by um, Banjo Patterson. Oh, I can't spell Patterson right, so I'm going to have to change that. Spot that. Um, and if you are interested, you can click on this link here and that will actually take you to yeah to the poem if you'd like to um, there's also um, Fred Hollows um, reading the poem so if you would like to have a listen to the poem you can you can do so by clicking on that Spotify link um, but this is the summary of of, of the poem and it's about, um, yeah, it's about a valuable horse that escapes and um, there's some riders that, um, that are in the snowy river area and it's really tough terrain. Um, but um, this fellow, the man, um, who's from Snow River, um, is able to, to retrieve it um, and ooh, turns into a legend. So that's super, super cool. Um, the movie's... Yeah, pretty much about that, um, except it has sort of, you know, more action, romance, um, drama, um, as you'd expect. So that's sort of, yeah, that's about the um, about the poem and about the movie. Um, if you want to check out the, um, the movie, there's a, a little trailer that can sort of give you a, um, a little idea about, um, yeah, what the... Um, what the movie's about, what it looks like. Um, so yeah, that's um, great ads. I remember once I'm gonna say. hope that one day they don't need to be there. Um, yeah, so feel free to, to check that Jessica! out. Oh, so much action. Great. And if you um, if you actually get watch it, let me know what you think. Okay, so where is the snowy river? Well, it's not too far from where we live in Canberra. Um, and there's a little link to that. Um, and it's this area where we have snow. Who knew? Um, and includes, yeah, includes, where, let's, let's find out. Where, where's Canberra? Here we are up here. So, yeah, if you head down through to Jindabyne and then onto, yeah, onto the Threadborough area, this, this is sort of where it where we're talking about this sort of area here and the river um, can flow flows out that way and that way I'm pretty sure around this area here is where um, they've got all the snowy hydro stuff and they might have somewhere else but I'm pretty sure it's on that side cool so that's yeah that's the area and as you can see super um, well you might have said but there's mountainous and there's lots and lots of forests there as well. Okay. Um, so obviously pretty hard to ride a horse down, I would have thought. All right. Back to here. Um, again, the, the recording, um, check out the IMP um, band class and um, you, can, you can listen to it from there. Or I think you should be able to click on that and be able to hear it. Awesome. All right. Um, I suppose the reason why I put that stuff there is to get you an idea of of the imagery about the the idea of you know big strong mountains about um, a bit of danger riding through them um, and sort of the terrain that that might yeah might have this man um, become a legend in. Okay, so understanding that can sometimes really help the meaning of how we play it um, and can influence the style in which we play it. All right, well, let's actually listen to the concert band version. So um, get your music book, um, whatever part you're playing, and let's follow along.
Um, I'm going to press play and then I'm going to move to PDF, which I've got some different scores. This is the trumpet part and it's the band arrangement. Thirteen. Coming up to bar twenty one. Bar 29. Let's head back to that Google Doc. Mm, and how do I do that? We go back here. Right, and I want to talk about the theme. So I've sort of gone into the to your score parts, and I've yeah, I've sort of um, snipped them out. So trumpets, um, you have the theme at bar five, and a lot of um, a lot, a lot of the way through there. So this is it. Rest. Ta 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 ti ta ta ta. Holding that bit. French horns have it at bar twenty one, and our lower brass people, trombones, euphonemes, and tuba, you have it only in bar thirty seven and thirty eight. Do 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 do. Um, right. So that's that's the theme. And if I look at my trumpet score here, um, I have that theme there. I have it there. Where else? At 21, I have it. So, yeah, heaps of times um, you play it. So if you learn that theme, you are going to be well on your way of having learnt most of it, trumpeters. Right. Okay, so that's that's that theme. If we head down to some of the um, the other parts of the music that I think are worthwhile in bringing out. Uh, but first, can you actually get your pencil and just um, trumpeters and French horns and tuba, just maybe put a um, little asterisk of where you have um, the melody so that you know, um, yeah, where to bring that that part out so that's important that the melody is always brought out all right then these rhythmical motifs here um and while it doesn't look too exciting it's actually quite important so um this bit is ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta and our French horns have this bit here, which is in treble clef, and then our lower brass and tuba, an octave below that, have the same thing. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. So make sure that that um, is really accurate. And lower brass, you also have um, quite often um, this dotted crotchet. French horns and trumpets don't have that part, only the lower brass section. So. Um, again, trombones, euphoniums, tubers. You are the only ones that have that. Um, and remember to really count that dotted crotchet as one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. It's okay, super, super duper important that you do that. So, in fact, if you get your pencil um, and write one and two and then and 
in line with that um, that clearer, that would be super, super good. It has to be really accurate. Okay, um, as we continue on down, I want to bring your, to your attention the key signature and the accidentals. Um, so I've got here that um, trumpeters have one flat in your key signature um, and they need to be B flat. And I've asked you a question and you can answer um, what valve combination you need to put there. And also accidental, I've seen in your music that there is an E flat. And if you could tell me the valves of that, that would be good. French horns, you've got that key signature. Um, and there's um, an accidental as well, an A flat. So please make sure that you know what that is and use this um, doctor um, to remind you of that. And then our trombone, euphonium, and tuba um, players, you have three flats in your key signature B flat, E flat, and A flat. Um, please know what slide or valve combinations those are for those notes. And also um, check this accidental D flat in there. Um, trombones, you don't use that position very often, so make sure that you are, are aware of it. Awesome. All right. Well, that's, yeah, that's all I really wanted to go through with you um, without having playing it. Um, but before I do go, I'd just like to, yeah, I just want you to get your pencil and I want you to maybe um, just circle some of these dynamics, okay? Um, the crescendos, anything that um, is in here that's going to help the expression of the, of the piece. Um, if you like, you can also, um, when I was talking about the accidentals, I can see trumpets have got an accidental there and one there. So feel free to circle those. Make sure that you are aware of um, where they are. Okay. Well, what I might do is I might play some of the bits. So, uh, trumpets. There it is. <sighs> Uh, so this speed. The start the first three lines of that um, let's head over to our trombones beginning just make sure I'm in good position from 13. Before I go, um, it's just be useful to know in um, trombones and euphoniums and tuba, and I'll head over to the tuba part 
of the band arrangement, make sure it's that. Um, you have that low B flat, so again, really loose. It's sort of the start. It's, it's um, you know, think of really strong, relaxed sound. Um, and make sure that this, yeah, this section is your, yeah, it's played really confidently and loud um, because that is your turn on with the melody. Um, the good news sometimes with this tune is that often you are just staying on the same either slide position or valve combination in lower brass land. Um, in 21, dom, 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 same, same, same. Um, so you can, um, yeah, you can, you can fill in those, um, yeah, uh, any slide positions or, or valve combinations that you are interested in or need to um, remind yourself of. Okay, well, I think that is going to be a really good start for you guys um, to get started with the man from Snowy River. Good luck. <laughs> 